Good morning, it's Jim in beautiful Beaverton, Oregon. I am uh, picking some more vegetables this morning. We're gonna have a chef salad this afternoon. Uh, and this is what we're gonna get for it. So anyhow, I uh, thought I'd show where we are at this point. Uh, I'm picking into a Pyrex Blue Dot Bowl. It's part of a three bowl set, one of the most famous Pyrex sets. If, uh, if you happen to see a green dot bowl in a bowl a little bit bigger than this, that's the holy grail of Pyrex bowls. So if you find that, buy it if it's reasonable and start your collection from there. Anyhow, they make great mixing bowls. By the way, this is exactly the right size bowl to make pizza dough in. Anyhow, we're going to take one more pepper here. And you know I need it. Yeah. These are producing lots and lots of peppers, by the way. Uh, they're getting kind of top heavy. Let's go on over this way. And I will uh, show you. I already picked this. I picked this eggplant off of here this morning. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. I don't know anything about them. I'm going to eat it, and I will let you know at the next show uh, what they're like. Uh, I've already got some lettuce. I'm going to pick some more tomatoes. These tomatoes are getting ripe very rapidly. They are, uh, mm, they are really good. Just like that. This is my best friend so far of tomatoes for sure. That's more than enough right there. Uh, the uh, Cucumbers have just been planted not very long ago, so they're not ready yet. And another run of tomatoes has just started to bloom out. Uh, and hopefully they'll take the place when these start to run out. So, anyhow, I'm going to set this bowl down for just a second here. And I would like to talk about some issues of height or... Um, height issues in the aquaponics setup. Elevation too, if you like. Uh, let us start over here with the grow beds. Uh, these grow beds are set at exactly 32 inches, which is, we did a lot of conversation about how to set them, and it's actually the perfect height for me. If you were taller or shorter, uh, you might want to adjust them, but so having these set here, there's three critical issues. There's the ergonomic part, which is 32 inches. Makes it really easy, by the way, to work here or do whatever you want to do. That's one of the beauties of this system. We have a height issue. You can only go so high or you run into my 90 degree shade cloth and various things. So just a tick higher than the vegetables are now is what I can do, which is not bad because it's also as high as you can possibly reach to pick them. So anything higher than that, you got to climb up, which is good. The, uh, so that's not too bad. The third concern is that you must have your grow beds with the flood and drain inside up high enough up above your sump that you can make all the parts work. It takes a foot coming out the bottom in it to uh, make the turns necessary to get your pipes into the right kind of a run. Uh, so what we have from where I'm standing to the inside is nine feet tall from the deck, ten feet from the ground floor. So one of the reasons I built this with a uh, ridge beam instead of the other way around is so I would have a bigger space up above. Uh, anyhow, these all run underground under here and into the sump. Now another uh, height concern we had was when we set these tanks. What I have here is kind of a, a Goldilocks and the Three Bears thing because we have three distinctly different heights that you could set one of these tanks. Uh, the reason we did it is so our plumbing would fit in because we have very limited space in this way. Uh, without that, we could only get two tanks in. So anyhow, this tank, the top of this tank is four feet off of the deck, which makes it really nice to look into this way, but terrible 
to clean. You can't get down in there. You have to climb up on top and hang over the thing that you do with nobody watching to clean the tank. So on to the next tank. These are, by the way, 150 gallon fiberglass glass fronted tanks from Pentair. Beautiful tanks and just as stout as they can be. This one, uh, a little more limited to see in, but you can, you know, lean over it and if you dive in there a little bit, you can get to the bottom with your hands or with a brush to clean it, which is a really important factor. So, uh, not as good this way, better this way. So the final tank, this one is 32 inches high, exactly the same as these beds here, which makes it really nice to work on. You can get down in there real easy. Uh, so from a standpoint of just dealing with everything, if you had something you needed to get in there a lot on, this is by far the best, although as you can see, you can't see. <laughs> so, so you get a better view in this way. Uh, a little bit dirty. Uh, so anyhow, all three of these tanks drain into this sump here. I have the water off right now. Uh, I'll turn it on right at the end just so you can see what it does after I get done talking. But it, the critical factor of any aquaponics system or any kind that I'm dealing with is you have a, a sump at the bottom, which is the very bottom. This is sunk two feet down below ground level. So if you were to count from the bottom of that sump to the top of the inside ridge beam, it's 12 feet, which gives me another two feet to play with, which is a pretty good distance in a little shed. So you definitely, if you can at all, put your sump below ground, because you'll just gain that much more to play with your pipes than you need it, trust me. Um, so anyhow, the downside, of course, of having that tank up there and this sump down here is that pumps pump against head, which means the higher they go up in the air, the less water they will pump. Uh, so if a pump pumps 2,000 gallons an hour here, by the time it pumps up five feet, I'm just pulling this out of the blue, it might only pump 1,000 gallons an hour. So you got to think about it when you put your pump in uh, and this is actually the tip of the day is put in about four or five times as much pump as you think you need I've said this before I know but this pump down here is at 3100 gallons an hour which means it turns this entire system over uh, something like four times an hour all of the water in here exchanges several times an hour so this water is this water. It's all the same water. Every 15 minutes, it changes. So anyhow, the, that's how you overcome problems with head, is to put in way more pump than you need, and you'll be happy. I will see you again next week. I don't know what she said.